hi welcome to this excel video tutorial in this video i'm going to show you how to connect and import exchange rate data from the web to excel let's get started before we proceed do remember to hit the subscribe button and also the bell icon to get notification of new videos let's dive in let's see the data we want to import from the web alt tab to go to the web now we are at floatrate.com over here we have all kinds of exchange rates for example we have the currency name the code and other variables let's make sense of this section now one usd is equivalent or will give us 0.816511 euro conversely one euro is equivalent to one 0.224724 in USD and so on. So let's get this data into Excel. And to do that, I'm going to come to the um, address bar and copy the URL, Control C, and let's go back to Excel. Now in Excel, come to the data tab of the ribbon under the Get and Transform Data Group. Click on From Web. Now from the web, we need to paste the URL in the From Web dialog box. So Control V to paste and then we click on ok next we're going to see the navigator dialog box to choose the table we actually want to import from now let's check these two tables we have the first one document which is exactly not what we want and let's see the second one cool this is what we actually want to import excel so i click on transform data to open the data in the power query editor to be sure that everything is looking good in the power query we have the of course proper data type for example we have this currency with text data type same thing with code and for these we have decimal and text so i'm going to get rid of this chart column right click choose remove and the column is gone and let's finally take this down to excel to an excel table so click on close and close and load the tool. We close the Power Query and we are loading to an Excel table or pivot table, pivot chart, or even to create a connection. But we are interested in an Excel table. So I'm going to choose existing worksheet and cell A1 is fine. So I click on OK. Now we have the queries and connection tax pane here. And you can see that our data is successfully loaded. We have 149 rows of data in Excel. This is essentially how we import exchange rate from the web to Excel. Now, in the next video, I'm going to show you some really powerful formula where we're going to use all this data. Thank you and bye for now. Cheers.